Welcome to another Motivated Product Review. My name is Ryan Harden. Today we're going to be talking about a product called Ethanol Shield. And what this product does is it's a complete fuel system treatment. Whether you're looking to store fuel for an extended period of time, uh, clean out the fuel system or revitalize critical engine components and fuel system components, Ethanol Shield is the only product on the market that we found that does everything that it's advertised to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a test now with Ethanol Shield and a bunch of other products to see how they compare and if they really work. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take our uh, aluminum can, um, of which I also had to spray paint. Um, on the bottom of every can, there's a carbon date. I don't know if you can see that in there. There's a little bit of carbon. You can see it through the shine. That's a carbon stamp, and a carbon stamp will bond to the metal. It won't wash off with soap or water or pretty much anything else. Um, so carbon on metal is what, uh, is what we see in the fuel system as well. So what we want to do is test these products and see if they can remove this carbon stamp, emulating a carbon removal out of the fuel system or out of the, uh, uh, any of the en major engine components. So you can see the, the carbon stamp right there. And let's see if we can get a better glance at that. Okay, so we're going to just take a little bit of the, uh, little bit of the ethanol shield just pour a dab in there and get it on the table and anywhere else. Um, so with the, uh, so we poured some in there with the ethanol shield. If you just swish it around a little bit, you'll already start to see that carbon start to come off. Ethanol shield does a really, really great job of decarboning the metal. So it's almost off and we haven't even touched it nor did we leave it on there for very long. And you can already see that carbon stamp washing off. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see what some of these others do. Okay, we'll take this product here. Um, do the pour test. So it's in there. Nothing's decarboning. We'll leave them sit for a little bit longer yet. I'll pour all these into their associated cans here. Let's get that done up. So basically, all of these products that claim to be complete fuel system treatments, uh, let's see, for the decarboning, I only see that we have E decarboned a little bit. D is decarboning a little bit. The rest of them is nothing. All right, for the next test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add water to this mixture to see what it does with the water. Most of these products claim that they can dewater or uh, envelop water and um, We'll see how they, how they hold out. Okay, so when we put water in the ethanol shield, I don't know if you can see what's happening in there. It envelops the water. The water, it literally attacks that water. It doesn't allow it to touch the engine uh, metals or components. When we put three or four drops in there, we're making it uh, pretty diluted and it's still holding, it's still making that water, uh, it's taking that water in. All right. So if we move over to one over here, again, we don't have much decarboning going on here with uh, can F. And you see all the water inside there, what it's doing? It's just, uh, the water's just pooling up at the bottom. It's not, uh, this is not protecting against water. It's not taking in any of the water. Um, it's just basically allowing the water to pool at the bottom of what could be your gas tank or the bottom of your float bowl or uh, you know any part of your fuel delivery system. If that water sits there like that, it's going to it's going to start to corrode. It's going to start to uh, 
you know, break everything that it touches down. So F is pretty much a failure. Let's take a G. See what G does. G is doing the exact same thing. It's supposed to be absorbing water. It's doing nothing of the sort. It's doing the water vinegar, water oil scenario. It's just not mixing. It's not holding it in at all. I'll move on over to the, the little bottle. Let's see what I is going to do. This is a thicker solution, but it's not, I mean, it's just, the water's just sitting in there. It's not doing nothing. H. So H, once again, all it's doing is just pulling the water to the bottom. I don't know if you can, does that help at all? I don't know. You can see it pretty good. All right, D, again, seeing if we can remove water here. Ooh, D does it. D does, a, D does encapsulate the water a little bit. You can see that. There's no pooling water with D. J is pooling water. Same thing, just pooling it up. Take a look at E. E's, E's soaking it up real good. So E does a good job of doing that. It doesn't decarbon, but it it's absorbing water to a point. I mean, there's still some in the bottom, but not too bad. Better than some, not as good as others. K. He's doing the same thing that the others were doing. It's just pooling the water. The pool, water's just sitting at the bottom. So only two of the other products actually absorb water. The rest that say that they're getting, that they get away from water, um, you know, they're, they're not doing anything. They're not encapsulating the water at all. It's just going to allow the water to run through the fuel system, like uh, you know, at the bottom of the fuel tank. A lot of times that water doesn't even get out of the tank because it can't. It's right at the bottom. With ethanol shield, it's decarboning and absorbed all the water. So now that we have our simulated fuel system full of water and carboned, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a burn test.